Hello everyone and welcome to the Cube World Cup 2021, where 32 cubes compete for the fastest time. I'm your commentator, Cryptic, and today we kick off the group stage with Group A. This is the first ever Cube World Cup, so enjoy the series. Welcome to Match Day 1. Kicking off Group A, we have a matchup between the GTS 3M and the Rubik Speed. The GTS 3M is in first, and the Rubik Speed is in 25th. Here we have the first solve by the GTS 3M. It's looking to be a good start off here. Gets that first pair in, and here we go. It's looking pretty good on the OLL here. A little slip up, but that's okay. And a nice U-perm sets him up for a 14.57 solve. A very nice first solve there by the GTS 3M. And we're going to get straight into the second solve here by the Rubik's Speed's first one. And uh, it's off to a little bit of a rough start, but might be able to recover an OLO here. And we're getting into OLO right now. And PLL to finish it off. It's going to be a 17.41 second solve by the GTS 3M. A little bit of a hesitation there at the start, but that's okay. Gets in that pair. It's going to insert that pair. Olo here. Oh no, and a slip up here on Olo. That's definitely going to hurt. Uh, he does able to. He is able to get the Olo done in 19.69. So it's all here by the Rubik Speed coming in. A little bit of a hesitation there, but that's okay. Certainly any solve here that as long as the Rubik's Speed does a good job that will gain a lead here and a 15.36. Third solve here by the GTS 3M. Can it recover from that 19 that I got last time? That will almost certainly be its longest time. And uh, here we go, PLO, another U-perm sets up for another 14. Great recovery by the GTS 3M as we so go into this third solve of the Rubik's Speed. So we get a little bit of a hesitation there again, but good start. And uh, as you can see, we're going into Olo here and a PLO. And a nice solve. 16.27. Fourth solve here by the GTS 3M. It's looking pretty good. Oh, he's already got, he's already got Olo, hasn't he? Oh, it's nice, he's already on PLO. <laughs> what a solve, a 13.43. It's straight into the force solve by the Rubik Speed. I'm a little bit nervous here after trying to follow up a 13 by the GTS 3M. It's not easy facing the top, top, the best of the best for cubes. Yeah, he does manage to pull off an 18 though. Final solve in the GTS 3M. That's a good start here. Pull the average together after that slip up on the second solve. Oh, it's a great, a uh, little bit of a slip up there on PLO, but it will be a 14.64, a great average there. Final solve by the Rubik Speed. It's a little bit of a good start. And a little bit of a slip up here onto PLL. And a 13.2, a great solve by the Rubik's Speed. And that will do it for match one. The second Group A match of match day one is between the Diane Tangyun V2M and the Volk 3. The Diane Tangyun is in 9th, and the Volk 3 is in 17th. Here we have the first solve by the Diane Tangyun. Starting off pretty nicely here. I don't know how the rest of this is going to turn out. A little bit of rough start here. It's a lot of hesitations. Yeah, it gets on to PLL though. And oh, and a plus two to make it a 19.80. First all by the Volk. The Volk, I believe, just being a little cautious here, making sure that it does not. Repeat what the Diantangian just did. Just try to get a better time here. Um, to try to force the Dian to do something in the next round. That's exactly what happens with an 18.08. Second self here by the Diantangian. 
has to uh, has to do something here or else it faces a loss against the Volk. Does not know Olo though. It's just looking to be a pretty nice time. 14.28 seconds all by the Volk. The Volk now has to follow up with a very nice solve. It's looking to be alright. And the bad OLL there leads to an 18.5. Third self here by the Diane. And a rough hesitation here. Very rough here by the Diane. And as we get into Olo here, this is not going to be a good time. Yeah, another 19, a 19.39. Not looking good for the Diane as we get into the fourth solve of the Volk 3. Volk 3, looking for a good solve here. And it does, and the Diane in real trouble here. The Diane needs a very good solve here in the fourth solve to try to pull it together. Or else it faces a loss against the Valk 3. 15. Fastest time out of this. Second fastest. Right to the 14. And a 16.11. Fourth solve by the Valk here. Just needs to hold on to what it has and it has a chance of winning this just can't slip up here very nerve wracking for the Volk yeah this is not going to be a good solve here and indeed it is 19 this final solve will decide everything and here we have the match could already be decided it is a lot closer than our last one Diane Tengen. Gets an F-perm, but is able to execute with a 14.84. The Volk's last solve. Needs below a 15 to get a counting 15. Oh, it's looking beautiful. It's looking absolutely amazing. A 13.59 solve. And uh, no... No plus two.